Good morning everybody, it's Carl. Today is uh, Thanksgiving Day here in the States. I hope you're having a great day. If you're off, that's awesome. Hope you get to spend some time with your family and friends, having a great meal. Um, if you are one of our soldiers, or public safety personnel, hospital workers, and you are at work today, hope you have a good day. Work doesn't kill you. And at some point, you get to spend some time with family and friends and have something good to eat. But anyway, I'm about to head out on the road, do my uh, driving to see all my family all over Central Texas. So I'm going to have a quick shave, make myself preventable, presentable, as we say. I'm having a stroke. Make myself presentable, and uh, we're going to get this shave done. Today, uh, for the soap, I've pre-lathered to try and save a little bit of time. I'm using Little Tim's Mahogany and Lavender. If you haven't seen or heard of this soap, it's a local uh, barber who makes soap in his shop. Good soaps, in my opinion. Uh, the brush, the Vanderhagen. Today, for the razor, I'll be using the Anthony Espedito Gold Monkey. I believe this is uh, 777. And then we'll be finishing it off with a little bit of Thayer's <coughs> and some Clubman. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. Um, and wherever you're at, the sun is shining and uh, your blessings have been numerous this year. Well, let's see, since my last vlog, or shave video, I should say, I uh, had a visit to the old oncologist for my annual exam. Oh, things are up in the air. It should have been my, it was my 10-year checkup. And I walked. I walked into the office expecting to hear uh, everything looks great, don't come back, because that's usually what happens after 10 years if everything is good. But unfortunately my last scan showed a spot in my lung that they don't know what it is. She described it to me as uh, small and undefined without solid borders so they don't they're not sure what it is it could be cancer or, or something else like maybe an infection or something so my cancer adventure continues for at least another year she put me on antibiotics to see if it is an infection and then I'll go back. In two more months for another scan to see if it has gone away or changed or whatever. And then we go from there. So, like I said, Not the news I was hoping for, especially right before Thanksgiving. But, on the upside, the cancer I had is 100% still gone.
So that being said, I'm really, you know, a little apprehensive, but not too terribly upset because at this point I am still cancer free. So that's awesome. Something to definitely be thankful about. And time will tell what this new thing is. Could be nothing. It's not the first time I've heard that news. So it's whatever, you know, we just, we just wait and see, be patient, trust in uh, God's plan, I guess. But anyway, The shave is going well. Um, Mr. Esposito did a great job on this razor. Nice smooth shave. Um, doesn't tug at all, so that's great. Soap is working well. I'm very happy so far. First pass done. Let's uh, get ready for the second pass. So, uh, let's see. Since it is Thanksgiving, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Say thanks to all you guys and gals in the wet shaving community online, Facebook, YouTube. Um, thank you for being awesome, helping with uh, honing advice, shaving advice, soaps and giveaways and all that stuff. Thank you guys very much. You guys rock, or guys and gals, I should say. Um, you know, and uh, it's just time to count my blessings. Uh, I've got food in my belly family and friends who care, a roof over my head, a job that drives me crazy but pays my bills and gives me some spending money so that I'm not strapped for cash and worrying about finances all the time. I've got good co-workers and uh, at the end of the day, hopefully I get to make a little bit of a difference in people's lives. Um, so all those things are great and I'm very thankful for them. And on a more faith-based note, I'm thankful for God and his provision and his sacrifice on the cross through his son Jesus Christ so that we can be reconciled to him. Don't really talk about that a lot, uh, but that's, you know, that's what I believe and, and it is definitely worth giving thanks for. All right, second pass. Let's see. All right. Oh, let's go. See, I'm still trying to figure it out. Because I would like to be able to. run the same way I do with my uh, DE razors, but I can't figure out how to make the, the blade work that way. And it's just practice. because I still have problems along the jawline and the neck. And that could be because I got a little bit of extra waddle there, you know. But we'll get there, we'll figure it out. It's all about learning, figuring it all out, right?
right, let's see how we did here. Nice. That is a good shave. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what I got today. Good shave, guys and gals. Thanks for watching. I'm going to finish up off camera. I'm probably going to run a little alum over my face. Like I said, hit it with the fairs and then finish it with the clubman. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for spending part of your morning with me watching this video. Get out there. Love on your family. Love on your friends. And uh, enjoy the day. Be thankful. Have a good one. God bless. Bye.